Hi guys, and welcome back to Miso Dog TV. And welcome to the 13th episode of Anime Phrases 101, where we talk about anime phrases and what they mean in Japanese and how to use them. Um, today, we're going to be talking about a scene from the anime Anohana, or the long title, it's really long. Okay. <laughs> so, um, the scene that we're going to be looking at today is the last scene of the anime where the main character, Menma, plays hide and seek with her childhood friends one last time before she disappears. Um, so, as you may or may not know, um, hide and seek is played a little differently, and the words you say are a little different compared uh, to Japan and the United States. So, today we're going to be talking about what those words actually mean and the significance in relation to the anime. So, without further ado, let's check out the clip. Okay, so if you've ever seen Anohana, I applaud you because this is a bit uh, outside of the mainstream from today, but um, this is the first anime that actually made me cry like for real. And I'm sure that if you've ever seen the anime and you watched that last scene, then you're probably pretty close to crying too. But I guess we're a little too caught up in our emotions to actually know what's happening here in this scene, what the characters are doing. So, YT, yep. <laughs> this is hide and seek, right? Yes, we have a hide and seek in Japan. Mm. It's called kakurenmo. Okay. So, uh, you have someone who, you know, finds the rest of the prayers mm. and uh, they come to 10 or mm. 20 or whatever, okay. then uh, go find like everyone else. Mm. So, the person doing the you know, finding yeah. is called the oni. Oh. So, in English, I think the demon. Yeah. And, um, the rest of the prayers, I mean, uh, everyone else is called mm. Akakurego. Okay, yeah, so that's basically how I played as a kid yeah. too. But like, we didn't call the person finding, we didn't call them like a demon. Ah, uh, really? <laughs> yeah. So what do you call them? Uh, you call them like it. Like, oh, you're it. Like, I don't want to be <laughs> it? it. Like, yeah, it. <laughs> it's like, sound like a real sentence. <laughs> yeah, it like probably okay. isn't. It's it. it, yeah. <laughs> It's not a human, it's it. It's it. <laughs> right. yeah. uh, but anyway, I think that the rules might be a little different for hide and seek in Japan as they are like in uh, my own country. Mm -hmm. um, because in the anime, like you have this this back and forth mm -hmm. between uh, Menma and the rest of the characters yeah. where um, the you call them the, the super peace posters, but they're mm -hmm. all like they're all like uh Moikai and mm -hmm. at the end uh -huh. she says mo yeah, and yeah. then they say uh -huh. and then it it's over yeah. um but in my version of hide and seek like we don't have conversations like right. it's just that's it okay so so uh the person who is it mm. or you know in japan on mm. demon finishes counting then they'll ask moikai which is uh are you ready oh. yeah, in english okay. and then if uh, like everyone else already like, is it ready mm. like you know like ready to be found, mm -hmm. they say, uh, mm -hmm. I mean, I'm ready, mm -hmm. I'm ready to play. If they're not ready yet, then they say, mm -hmm. uh, that means I'm not ready yet. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then the person who is the only, mm -hmm. or a demon, or it, starts counting from the beginning again. Oh, yeah, if people like, aren't ready. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So when the only doesn't hear anyone saying, Madadayo, so they open their eyes and start looking. Mm -hmm. So when the Oni finds someone, they say the person's name and add Mitsuketa. Mm. So in the case of Anohana, they all see Menma at the end. So they all say Menma Mitsuketa. Oh, okay. 
So up here in New Japan, until modern times, mm -hmm. it's a taboo to play hide and seek after oh. sunset because people are kind of afraid of uh, kidnapping oh, or yeah. kamikashi, oh. you know, which means to be spirited away. Oh. Spirited away. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay, so now that like we know the the words, what they mean, mm -hmm. like I feel like it's really symbolic or it's like significant to the anime overall. Because it's like, at the end of the anime, they're obviously like able to see her, right? Like physically. Mm -hmm. So they obviously yeah. like, they found her physically mm -hmm. because they weren't able to see her before. Mm -hmm. But I feel like this is also like emotionally symbolic because they were all like trying to avoid like thinking about her for however many years or like they, they had some like warped image of her. So I think at the end of the anime, they were finally able to like see her and accept her and like accept her, the idea of her like within themselves. like. It's really oh, yeah. That's deep. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, yeah. I know. <laughs> oh my god. All right. The end. Also, like, there's a lot more talking in Japanese hide and seek than yeah. I would have expected. So what about in the US? Like, do you not say anything? So yeah, I guess that we do say something in the US as well. Mm -hmm. It's like the person who's counting finishes counting, yeah. and then they say like, "Ready or not, here I come." Oh. Um, but then like, no one says anything back. Like, um, it's not a conversation. <laughs> um, you know, it's interesting that you don't ask for permission in the US, you know? Um, yeah. It's like, what if like someone is like still looking for a place to hide yeah. and they just, you know, out in the open, you know? Well, like, sucks. <laughs> sucks for them. That's like, it. It's yeah. brutal. Yeah, I mean, the phrase... <laughs> I found you. Yeah, right, no, right there. Exactly, yeah. exactly. It's, I mean, the phrase is like, ready or not, here I come. So I guess it like doesn't really matter yeah. whether you're it's, whether you're ready or not. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's true. It's a little bit more polite. Okay. <laughs> in Japan, it seems. All right. Okay, and that was today's episode of Anime Phrases 101. There might not have been like a lot of useful like phrases, yeah. but I think it's interesting how the games that we played as kids mm -hmm. are like pretty international. Yeah. And the rules are like pretty slightly yeah, different. different. Yeah. yeah. So uh, if there's any other anime phrases or anime that you'd like us to talk about, put it in the comments below. Um, if you like the video, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more content like this. See you next time. Bye. Bye.